Okay, once you've got your movie library scanned in, you may want to use sets. Now, I've gone into this previously um, in another guide very briefly, so I'm just going to quickly um, reiterate what I mentioned in the previous guide now, because uh, you can create your own sets, which I haven't gone into yet, or when you scan content in, you can have it so that Kodi automatically adds content to sets. So for example, let me just check my uh, settings. If I look at my video settings, library, and you'll see group movies in sets. If you have that enabled, um, which I did when I done my scan, I just disabled it so you could see that it's disabled by default. But I had that enabled. And so what that done, if we come back, um, so long as you do that before you do the initial scan, it will automatically add things in sets. So if we go to my sets there, what you'll see is these are actually collections. So for example, we've got you know the 300 collection. So that would get all the movies that are part of the 300 collection and put them in there. So we've got 300 and 300 Rise of, uh, Rise of an Empire. Um, you know, we've got all sorts in here. We've got Aliens, Aliens 3, Aliens Resurrection. Um, you know, just puts them all, all in the right right section. Um, what if we want to create our own set, though? Um, and it doesn't have to be sets like this. You can put absolutely anything in them. So, um, I'm just going to come out here. Um, so, obviously, we can access sets from there. But we can also access it from the video menu. So, if we click on videos, um, go to our movies, we can then click sets in there. Now anywhere in here, we can bring up the context menu and manage manage movie set. And as you can see, we we can edit anything we want to in here. So we could uh, you know we could put extras in there if we wanted. So we're on the 300 one at the minute. We could also put that one in there if it related to it and that one, and then click OK. And then obviously there they are but they don't actually relate to that particular set so let's take them back out um, let's take that one out and that one out now we should find yep we're back to normal so let's have a look at how we create our very own set um, what we would do is we we'll go to our movies menu so find something that we want to put in a set so let's just say that one for example manage um, manage movie set and we can add movie to a new set so I'm just going to call this uh, test set right so that's been added um, let's add that one as well um, manage manage movie set and what do I call it? Test set. There we go. So I've clicked on that as well. Um, let's just put one more in there as well. Manage, manage movie set, and it was test set. So if we click on our test set, we now see that we've got those three films in there. So very useful. Um, very useful if you want to create um, possibly special kids sets or home movie sets or something like that. But another useful uh, thing this can do is, so we've got this set now, we can change the view type. So let's say, for example, I want that as thumbnail view. I'm going to come out of there. Uh, let's pick, um, well, let's come back out of there. Let's go to our sets. So if we try um, the 300 collection, you can see that's still in list view. If we try our test set, oh, we've got that in list view. If I change that to, it's because I uh, accessed it from a different menu. Um, if I change that to thumbnail and then go back, back, and now we can go to our sets, test set, as you can see, we've got our thumbnail view there. And if we try, um, that 300 one, it's in list view. And we can try a different one. So let's try, uh, I'm just going to try and find one with more than one item in it. Uh, let's prove in 
more difficult than I thought. There's one with two in it. Um, okay, so if we change that to, let's go with fan art. So we come out of there, come all the way back out. And do you know what? I'm just going to exit uh, Cody just to prove that this does work. So if I quit, click on exit, And now let's load it back up again. So we want movie sets. So that one should be normal list view. Yep, that's normal list view. 300, that's normal list view. And what was it we had? We had test set, there you go, thumbnail view. And we've got, uh, I, I've actually now forgotten which one it was, sorry. Um, It was the Anchorman collection, and there you go. That is in fan art view. And uh, of course, what we could do um, if we had a skin installed that um, uh, that, that was customizable, um, I'm showing you Confluence here, which is not very customizable. But what we could do is obviously add different sets down at the bottom here, and then it would link directly to them from the home page. Um, so uh, you can have whatever view type you want. Okay, um, I hope that explains sets a little better. And um, if you have any problems, um, don't hesitate to come over to the forum at totalxbmc.tv where we'll be more than happy to uh, try and help you out. Okay, thanks for watching.